In the heart of the late 1970s, when television screens were cloaked in technicolor dreams, a charismatic wave washed over the minds of viewers, a wave that carried them into the realm of possibilities, where human limits were no longer boundaries. Amidst this kaleidoscope of anticipation and intrigue emerged The Bionic Woman, a 1976 TV series that injected a potent dose of cybernetic wonder into the veins of popular culture. Picture yourself, a seeker of stories, in those bygone days, eyes glued to the screen as the opening credits rolled. The surge of curiosity as Jane Somers, the ordinary woman gifted with extraordinary bionic limbs, leapt into action with an effortless grace that made your own heartbeat feel a little more synchronized with the rhythm of the future. Each episode wasn't just a glimpse into a fictional world. It was a reverberating echo of the human spirit's unyielding desire to transcend its own limitations. Memories flash like fragmented film reels, James in human speed and strength, the iconic sound of her bionic limbs, the camaraderie she shared with Oscar Goldman, the dilemmas that tugged at the delicate balance between her artificial enhancements and her innate humanity. These memories, etched like constellations in the vast canvas of your mind, remind you of a time when you too wondered what it meant to be more than just flesh and bone. And now, as the reel of time turns, let's delve into the untold tales, the hidden gems, and the trivia that adorned the making of the bionic woman. Behind-the-scenes anecdotes that shimmer like hidden treasures, waiting to be unveiled. Did you know that Lindsay Wagner, the actress who portrayed Jane Somers, initially appeared in The Six Million Dollar Man, sparking her own spin-off journey into bionic stardom? Or that the show wasn't just a spectacle of futuristic marvels, but also a contemplative exploration of the relationship between humanity and technology? As we journey through these random facts, let them be the brushstrokes that paint a vivid portrait of a time when the bionic world was not just a fantasy, but a door left slightly ajar to the wondrous unknown. So, if you find yourself musing upon those moments of watching, wondering, and wandering through the world of James Somers, know that you are not alone in your reverie. Let's unravel the layers of intrigue, one bite at a time, as we dive into the depths of the bionic woman and the treasures it holds. The Bionic Woman, soaring beyond superhero norms in prime time in the realm of 1970s television, a groundbreaking phenomenon emerged, shattering conventions and capturing the imagination of viewers across the nation. The Bionic Woman, a trailblazing series that brought a female superhero to the forefront, achieved a feat unparalleled in its era. Nestled in the second network primetime production centered around a female superhero, this show defied expectations, soaring to the remarkable rank of five in the Nielsen ratings. The embodiment of this extraordinary tale, James Somers, portrayed by the talented Lindsay Wagner, etched her name into the annals of television history, a name that would resonate with audiences as she embarked on a remarkable journey of transformation. In a striking parallel to the world of comics, where the likes of Nathan Summers evolved into the cyborg cable, Jane Somers too saw her reality shift after a grievous accident. Her resilience led to a remarkable metamorphosis, where robotic parts became integrated with her body, forever altering her destiny. As the show transitioned from ABC to NBC, a tumultuous shift occurred behind the scenes. Lee Majors, an indomitable presence in the series, found himself absent from its later episodes. Tied by the threads of contract to ABC, Majors' absence reflected the intricate dance between networks that prevented his triumphant crossover. The absence of the show's initial main character marked a chapter of change that highlighted the complexities of television production and network rivalries. The legacy of the bionic woman endures as an emblem of a bygone era, where audacity and innovation merged to create a television marvel. James Somers' journey, punctuated by her bionic transformation, echoed the narrative arcs found in comics, weaving together themes of resilience and redefinition. For a brief yet significant moment, the show's ascent to five in the Nielsen ratings attested to its undeniable impact on pop culture and its role in reshaping perceptions of female superheroes. In the grand tapestry of television history, the bionic woman remains a vivid thread, forever altering the landscape of primetime entertainment. Through the convergence of a captivating narrative, technological wonders, and Lindsay Wagner's magnetic portrayal, the show propelled itself into a realm of excellence that will continue to inspire generations to come.
Lindsay Wagner's portrayal of James Somers in the 1976 TV series The Bionic Woman marked a significant milestone in the realm of science fiction. Wagner's exceptional performance not only captivated audiences, but also garnered her an Emmy Award, a groundbreaking achievement. It was the first time a woman had clinched an acting Emmy for a sci-fi series, solidifying Wagner's place in television history. Interestingly, the genesis of the character's name, Jane Somers, carries a connection to reality. The mastermind behind the show, Kenneth Johnson, drew inspiration from his experiences producing killer whale spectacles at SeaWorld. During his time there, Johnson collaborated with a water skier named Jamie Summers, whose name struck a chord with him. He deemed it a perfect fit for the bionic character he was shaping, later revealing that the real Jamie was elated by the homage. Beyond the show's narrative and accolades, a testament to its lasting impact can be found in Jamie's choice of wheels throughout the series. Her car, a 1976 Datsun 280Z, not only served as a mode of transportation but also became a piece of automotive history. The Datsun brand, now known as Nissan, saw the 240Z-280Z models evolve into classics cherished by collectors and enthusiasts alike. As the bionic woman continues to resonate with generations of viewers, Lindsay Wagner's Emmy win remains a symbol of empowerment for women in the science fiction genre. A name rooted in real-life encounters and a vintage car emblematic of its era further enriched the legacy of this iconic series. Maximilian, the million-dollar canine of the bionic woman in the realm of iconic 1970s television. The bionic woman shone brightly, captivating audiences with its futuristic narratives. Yet, it wasn't just the bionic enhancements of its titular character, James Somers, that drew attention. The show's third season introduced an unexpected star, Maximilian, the bionic dog. A name as extravagant as its price tag, Maximilian's moniker wasn't just for show, it reflected the jaw-dropping cost of crafting this mechanical marvel. Designed to stand toe-to-paw with the bionic heroine, Maximilian wasn't a mere pet project. No, this four-legged wonder wasn't just a run-of-the-mill robotic pooch. He was, quite literally, a million-dollar creation. The financial investment to bring Maximilian to life echoed the show's commitment to pushing the boundaries of imagination and technology. Maximilian's emergence on the bionic woman marked a departure from the series' usual narrative fare. But crafting such a high-tech hound came with its challenges. A team of skilled engineers and designers worked tirelessly to ensure that Maximilian seamlessly integrated into the show's world of bionics and espionage. Yet, the meticulous craftsmanship didn't end with the show's production team. Maximilian's role required precision and versatility, and these attributes were mirrored in the selection of his canine performers. German shepherds, known for their intelligence and adaptability, took turns portraying Max. In season three, episodes one and two, aptly titled The Bionic Dog, parts one and two, specific traits were sought after. The chosen Max had to exhibit an unusual level of composure, unflinching in the face of fire, indifferent to food temptations, and even willing to conquer the challenge of a treadmill. The saga of Maximilian, the million-dollar bionic dog, brought an unexpected layer of intrigue to the bionic woman. It illuminated the show's dedication to pushing boundaries and embracing the unexpected. Maximilian's creation, the embodiment of innovation, served as a reminder that in the realm of bionics, even a dog can rise to the ranks of a high-tech superstar. As we reflect on the legacy of the bionic woman, it's clear that Maximilian's mechanical marvel remains etched in the annals of television history, a testament to the audacious spirit of 1970s entertainment. The bionic woman offered a groundbreaking portrayal of female empowerment on television. At the heart of the series was Jane Somers, a schoolteacher whose life takes an unexpected turn after a parachuting accident. She's given a new lease on life through bionic enhancements, becoming stronger, faster, and equipped with superhuman abilities. In a clever twist, Mad Magazine satirically dubbed the show The Moronic Woman. The satirical publication's parody was a testament to the cultural impact of the series, as even its playful critique underscored its significance. However, one of the show's most iconic elements, the familiar opening theme music, wasn't introduced until the third episode of season one. The theme, composed by Oliver Nelson, went on to become synonymous with the show, evoking a sense of anticipation and technological marvel as viewers were introduced to James' world of bionics. 
The Bionic Woman not only captivated audiences with its action-packed sequences, but also pushed the envelope by showcasing a woman in a traditionally male-dominated role, defying stereotypes. Through James' character, the series challenged norms and inspired generations of viewers. In an era when strong female protagonists were a rarity, the Bionic Woman dared to break the mold. It leveraged its engaging storytelling and the charisma of Lindsay Wagner, who portrayed James Somers, to leave an indelible mark on television history. So, beyond its mechanical marvels and thrilling escapades, The Bionic Woman resonated as a pioneering show that reshaped perceptions of women on screen. A testament to the power of representation, the series continues to inspire and empower, reminding us that strength knows no gender. As we bid adieu to this digital rendezvous, let's take a moment to delve into the captivating world of The Bionic Woman, a series that etched its indelible mark on the tapestry of television history. Just as Jane Somers underwent her extraordinary transformation, so too did this show, evolving from mere entertainment to an intricate web of memories woven into the lives of its audience. As you reflect on the metallic gleam of bionic limbs and the whirlwind of adventures, let the nostalgia transport you back to a time when each episode was a portal to excitement, curiosity, and wonder. Whether it was the iconic slow-motion sprints or the chemistry between characters that lit up the screen, the show was a testament to the power of human imagination and innovation. Now, in the age where technology continues its march forward, the bionic woman stands as a bridge between eras, a reminder of the past's innovation and a catalyst for contemplating the future. Your personal connection with the series, no doubt, has stories to tell, memories to share, and thoughts to ignite. What better way to honor its legacy than by letting your voice join the chorus of admirers who have woven it into the fabric of their lives? So, whether you find yourself reminiscing over leisurely family evenings in front of the glowing TV, or discover the show anew in this digital realm, remember that the bionic woman's impact extends far beyond its runtime. It lives on through your experiences, thoughts, and tales, a vibrant reminder of the magic that stories can wield. Thank you for gracing this journey of reflection with your presence. Your time and interest are deeply appreciated. Until our narratives intertwine once more, keep those memories alive and continue to explore the realms of imagination that this series has illuminated. Stay bionic in spirit and curious at heart.